Hello, I'm Kevin, and this is Understanding Mixer Signal Flow in Logic Pro 10 using SINs, buses, and AUX. I've just opened Logic Pro 10, and it asks me what kind of tracks I want to add and how many. I'm going to add one external MIDI, use external instrument plugin with no input, and an output 1 plus 2. I happen to have a Korg uh, piano hooked into my computer. First, if we open our mixer by using the shortcut X or by clicking View, Show Mixer, we can see we have three channel strips set up. Instrument 1, Output, and Master. Start by selecting a sound for your MIDI track. Piano, Yamaha Grand Piano. This happens to use a virtual instrument named ESX24 Sampler, as you can see right here. If we look at the mixer now, we can see Logic has already done some grunt work for us. We still have the original channel strips right here. Here's the output, here's the master. But we have two additional channel strips, which are both aux or auxiliary channel strips. So how does the signal flow go through our mixer? Well, we have our ESX24 sampler coming into our input on the original channel strip. It goes through these audio FX and simultaneously it outputs to the stereo out right here and it sends to our new auxiliary tracks by way of bus one and bus two. And the level at which they send to those buses is controlled by this blue spinners next to the sends bus. Here's bus one and bus two and these volumes. Also, for each of these auxiliary sends, if we click here, we can see that they are sent post fader, which is the default setting for auxiliary send. Fader is at the bottom here. And post fader means the signal flow will go through the fader before the send bus will go to the aux input. So post fader means that if I lower this fader, no sound will go to the send bus because the fader is all the way down. But if instead I use pre-fader, the signal flow will go through the bus before it goes to the fader. So even if I pu pull this all the way down, because this one is set as pre-fader, the signal flow will still go at a certain volume to uh, the aux input. Whereas this one, which is still post-fader, no sound will go through this bus. So once the send sends the signal flow to a bus, we have this aux input. It has a bus one set as the input, and this auxiliary input has a bus two set as the input, and they each have some effects on them. This one has a space designer effect with a small hall effect. This one has a space designer reverb with a large hall effect, and they each have their own channel EQ. And then both of these are sending to the stereo out. This is sometimes called a send return because the send is going through this bus and this auxiliary input has an input of this bus and then it goes back to the stereo out, which is where the original uh, channel strip was going anyway. And that is how this signal flow setup is working. This has been Understanding Mixer Signal Flow in Logic Pro 10. Please let me know if there's another topic you'd like me to cover.